how to put together your dive system. So first I'm going to show you guys what model I have. So just in case you have it, you can just follow these steps. Pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Um, right here I have a quick disconnect, a one fourth MPT. This end, this is where you screw the pressure relief valve. And if you feel any leakage uh, when you screw it in or anything after when you turn it on, uh, just make sure to, um, you know, use some thread tape. So the next thing you're going to need is the heat hose. And then I attach the other end of the quick disconnect to the heat hose, uh, because trust me, it's a lot easier to use quick disconnects. Uh, so we're just going to connect this. Okay. And the purpose of the heat hose is pretty self-explanatory. The air that's coming out of the compressor is extremely hot. And, uh, this is going to basically cool it down and prevent your hose from cracking. The next thing I'm going to connect to my heat hose is this particle filter inline, obviously. Um, so I have my quick disconnects connected to this. Uh, there is a three eighths and a one fourth. Um, you can tell which one's the three eighths and the one fourth. Uh, so we're going to connect this one real quick. This basically stops any particles or any water particles from uh, going into your regulator, basically. So for the next step, you're going to connect your hose to your inline particle filter. Uh, obviously, I found this at Home Depot. Um, Home Depot will have all the parts just in case you guys can't find anything. I'll try to link everything I bought in the description and everything. All right, and then basically it's all put together. Now you just have to plug it in and look for any air leaks. If there is any air leaks, make sure to use this thread tape uh, to basically kind of secure all that. Um, and then that's really it. And if you're using this for any like uh, hall cleaning or anything like that, you're gonna want this extension too off Amazon. Uh, so you can hook up to shore power and all that. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you guys want to see more how-to videos kind of like this, um, please subscribe and like the video if this helped you in any way.